Hi there, today I'm going to be showing a slightly different video from the norm. So we're at our gaming racing setup here. So the Logitech G29 steering wheel and the Logitech shifter right here. Now positioning wise, it's okay, it's not too bad. Obviously we've got our desk and it's clamped onto the desk. But positioning wise, it's not ideal. You want to have something a bit more realistic to how a real driving situation would be. So the shifter really should be moved back and lowered. So. Today I'm going to show how to actually make a slight adjustment on a chair to enable us to actually attach the shifter onto there. So I've got some wood just over here and I'm going to use these bits just to clamp the actual wood onto the side here and have an extension coming out and coming up and then having the shifter attached straight onto there. Okay, so this is a side profile of the actual chair. Now the interesting thing about this one is is a flat base on there. So that can be quite useful for this situation. So I've got some wood here. I can get it attaching onto there. And what we could do is cut a notch here, cut a notch there and let it slot inwards to make it nice and firm and secure to the actual chair. Then we can take another piece of wood just underneath here and screw it on so it's nice and tight. And then the next idea would be if I turn it slightly to the side, we'll get this bit of timber either this way or that way, depending on our position we're after, and then screw it on and then put another platform on top to raise it up. And then obviously the shifter can be put on to another bit of wood here and secured onto there. Okay, so I've got the timber here. I'm gonna cut off this end here so we don't need that. So let me just mark that so I know which bit just to remove when I cut it. So I'll just mark it like so. That's it, we'll just chop that bit off. If I come in here, we wanna put some notches in, like I've already said, so I'll mark it in like so. There you go, so you've got it marked. Now we'll just get the thickness of the actual metal frame at the side. So it's about two and a half centimeters. So if I bring that out, and just here, I know I'll have to cut in two and a half. So I'll measure at both ends. Okay, so here's the wood with the two notches in there. So let me just put it into place just to show you. And there you go, slots in quite well. And made a slight change to our plans. So I've got another piece of wood here. I'm actually just gonna screw it on just like that. And we're gonna put screws in here, 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 and then one at the end. So that'll keep it secure so it doesn't slip off. Okay, so let's drill this in. So I've marked a line here just to show where the bottom of this wood is and we'll go reasonably in at the center.
there you go so I'll leave a pilot hole here and here and I'll just put a recess into these screws so they can go further in we're going to chop off that end because I didn't want a hole, hole there and on this side we'll chop it off here so it's in line with this and then we've made us another slight change in idea with this just to keep it firmly in position we're going to put a piece of wood here and then it won't move at all so this will be screwed on underneath and we'll put it in three positions okay so we're going to chop this bit off obviously uh, we're going to get this wood cut as well so this sort of size so obviously the shifter will fit on there now we're going to have to obviously chop two bits of these wood just to get the height we're after so if we lift this a bit higher just to show we're going to get it that sort of position so two strips like this one there one there and then screwed in from underneath and then from top and then you've got a frame to obviously hold the shifter so we're nearly there now okay so one of the things we want to show is how to countersink the actual screw so it's not sticking out in any way and that sort of stops the wood splitting like it has just there so we're going to get a drill bit that's the size of the head slightly bigger and just drill a little bit on there there you go slightly tidier finish on there okay so next we're gonna actually cut the pillars so these are the bits that are going to sit on top of the actual stand and to make sure we get the two pieces exactly the same I'll put a bit of timber in there as a stop point and then just cutting just to make sure it comes in right there you go exactly the same okay so now we've got the two pieces of wood for here and here they're going to be screwed in in these positions and what we're going to do is cut the top plank now and this is the size we're going to go for just cut it there okay so this is how it's going to be there there and then this on top simple as that okay so next we want to install the actual upstands here so I've marked a line center wise where we want to place it so we'll line it up like so and then if I flip it round I can rest it on this area and drill a pilot hole into the area so we'll just get one screw hole in first Okay, so we've got the two ends on there now. So I've marked on here where we want to screw it down and we'll hold that into position. Okay, so one thing I've forgotten to do is the bottom bit. So this is the clamp at the bottom to secure it into position so there's no movement. So I've marked a line, the thickness of that, so we know where the middle should be on average, so it would be around there. So if I position it like this, Okay, so we've attached the fixture onto the chair and just to show there was a little bit of movement here on the back so all we've done is just put a little bit of cardboard just in the middle there just to stop additional movement we just think 
it's probably better to use cardboard rather than put some wood in there just so it's adjustable so that's that and obviously the stands in place as well and if we move it it is quite rigid to the actual chair itself so next let's put the actual shifter onto there so fits in position like so there you go and obviously there's a tightening point at the bottom as well so there you go in position and no movement there you go it's quite good fit on the actual chair itself okay so we've actually got the shifter in action now as you can see just over here you can see the gameplay as well actually doesn't work quite well would have been nicer if it was slightly forwarder but adjustments can be made so there you go hope it's given people inspiration on making changes to their chair to enable a shifter to be installed thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe